Brave citizens of New Los Angeles, this is your Director General, Maurice Chausson. Today, I come before you with truly joyous news. News that I have been longing to be able to share with you since we first set foot on this unknown world. Thanks to the tireless efforts of the brave men and women of Blade, we have finally, finally succeeded in securing the location of the Lifehold Core. Now make no mistake, recovery of the Core will not be easy, especially as the Ganglion continue their persecution of our people. But as long as we forge ahead with the same determination and fortitude that got us this far, I have every confidence we will succeed in our mission. We will return to our natural bodies and take our place as living, breathing residents of our new home here on Mira. Until then, I ask you all to stand together in strength and courage as proud citizens of NLA. All right, Blades. You heard what the man said. It's now or never. So let's get right to it. Your mission is to secure the Lifehold Core and activate its backup power system. We'll have the exact location isolated in the next two hours. You'll leave as soon as we have coordinates. We're counting on all of you. Each and every single Blade will participate in this mission. Godspeed. All right, everybody, dig in, and don't hold back. I made enough for everyone. Tatsu helped with cooking, too. <laughs> wow, you really went all out. It smells amazing. Don't go hogging it all, Gwyn. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You're one to talk. Uh... How kind of you to desert us like this, Lin. What in the hell is this? We're going to war here, people. And you know what they say. Can't go to war on an empty stomach. Can't go to war if you're dead, either. Which is us if the life holds power runs out. For all we know, the ganglion are already at the core, getting ready to tear it apart. You still hungry? Mm. If we lose this one battle, we lose everything. We already understand that, Doug. But you heard what Nagi said. We have to wait while they pinpoint the core's location. Like this? You just don't get it, do you? No, Doug. You don't get it. What? You think you're the only one here who's worried? We all are. We're scared to death. That's why we're here. Together. Look, Irina... Lynn is just trying to keep up morale the best way she knows how. Yeah! Pick on Linley and you answer to Tatsu! All right. Look, Lin. I'm sorry. I'm on edge. Worried, freaked out, all of it. Forgive me, okay? No. But bring me ten hot cocos, and we'll talk. From that place you love, right? Okay, you got it. All right, everyone. Lin went to all this trouble, so let's dig in before it gets cold. Tatsu liked this plan. Tatsu is starving! Well, you don't have to ask me twice. Help yourself, Doug. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, man, am 
my stuff. Uh, I could need another bite. Tatsu cannot move. Amazing as always, Lin. Thank you. Now I get why Arena and the Commander are always making excuses to swing by. That was delicious, Lin. Oh, you guys. Don't make me blush. I'm just glad you enjoyed it. Well, I should be getting back. Thanks for the eats. Shall we, Lieutenant? Yeah, we'd better go too. This was really great, Lin. Thanks. Yeah, this was fun, Lin. Indeed. It was a most enjoyable food ritual. All right. Good luck out there, guys. Elma, the analysis is just about finished. Gather your team and get over here. On our way. That's the Lifehold Core? The coordinates place it off the west coast of Caldros. It's no wonder we couldn't find it. It's way out in the middle of the ocean. Did it sink underwater? We'll find out soon enough. Let's suit up and get going. Secretary? Our survival as a species hinges on your efforts. Elma, we need your help. Please save us. We're all in this together, Secretary. My goal hasn't changed since I first set foot on the White Whale. You of all people should know that. I intend to see this through. That should go without saying. I know. It's just... we've put so much on your shoulders. You can make it up to me with a nice long vacation once this is all over. This planet fascinates me to no end. I'd love to take some time to explore it with no agenda. Oh, -ho! can Tatsu be Elma's guide? Of course, Tatsu do it free of charge. It's all over the house. Let me guess, El taught you that one? We sent the coordinates to every blade team we got. Elma, I want you to act as commander for everyone out there in the field. I'd be honored, Mr. Chief Engineer. <laughs> I forgot how much I miss being called. Commander makes me feel like some useless old stuffed shirt. Yeah, and shirts aren't your style. All right, team, let's go. Roger. Tatsu has lunches all packed.
got to it already. No, not yet. Look where it meets the water. Is that a force field? The life hold was designed to sustain human life at all costs. The defensive shields that surround the core won't go down so easily. So, in other words... We've nothing to worry about? I didn't say that. Remember, they don't need to break into the core. They just have to keep us out until time runs out. Which is soon. Speaking of time, it's time to kick some ganglion butts. Yes, yes! Friends kick ganglion in butts. That's the spirit. I need you all at your best. Everyone's counting on us to see this through. And we won't get a second chance. All units, this is your commander, Elma. My team will take point. We'll breach the core and then once inside, attempt to activate the backup power. Doug, Irina, Gwyn, and El, you're with us. All other teams, focus on clearing our approach and defend our position once we're in. That is your priority, not destroying all enemy craft. Are we clear? Team Grosseter, roger. Trishula, roger. Ningursu, roger. Balma, roger. Team Surter, roger. We'll take out any hostiles along your approach. Breach team, let's go. Roger. Who's joined us? Ignite! My favorite! Up here! Shoot them now, they're distracted! Hold core. Let's hurry before they can follow us inside. All right, here we go. Our real bodies. We can finally be whole again. Attention, this is Life Hold Core Control. System energy levels have dropped below zero point two. Shielding will be disabled in T-minus 1,000 seconds. Repeat. This is Life Hold Core Control. What? 15 minutes and we lose the shields? If the core runs out of power, the shields will be the least of our problems. Well, yes and no. We need to keep the core powered, but we do also need those shields. It's two birds with one stone's throw away. The shields will cause the ganglion to use up their material and retreat. Exactly. Everything comes down to getting the backup power source online. Right then. Let's do it. Side, there's no turning back. Everyone ready? You're sure now?
Why have we not received confirmation that the target is destroyed? What is the delay? Grandmaster, sir, the target appears to have some manner of customized Trion barrier. A Trion barrier? Are you daft? These are humans we're talking about. No one outside of the Clue system has access to Trion technology. And those scales of theirs. How did a primitive race like theirs manage to piece those together? As you say, Grandmaster. But if they are truly the Founder's descendants... Don't speak to me of myths! Ha! A tale to frighten children! They are the disease, not the cure. They are not the failsafe! Cluster 3. The enemy forces are rallying. Sir, we can no longer effectively strike the target. Where are the interceptors? An enemy detachment has cut them off. They can't reach us. But these are savages, not... No, I refuse to believe it. <sighs> Prepare the feature. I shall crush them myself. Grandmaster, with all due respect, sir, the Vita belongs to the Great One. Your body could not withstand it. The Great One's blood runs in these veins. I will use it, because I must use it. Is this it? Will my unending thirst for knowledge be satiated at long last? Yeah, so then... Where is it all? All I see is a whole lot of nothing. 
It's so quiet. I feel like we're back in the cathedral. Okay, Elma. What's the deal here? Where are all the stasis capsules? Where the hell are all our bodies? <sighs> Don't tell me. This isn't the core? Whoa, what? Seriously? This has to be it. You all saw what the core looked like in the mission briefing. This is definitely it. Lynn's right. This is the place. Then where are all the people we brought with us from Earth? You're all controlling these MIMS from your real bodies, asleep in stasis. That's the explanation you were given by NLA, or should I say ECP officials. That was the official story, but it's not the whole truth. Colonel, what do you mean? Wretched humans, you'd be dead already if it wasn't for that blasted barrier! that mech they stole from the hangar. Ganglion? He's an ugly mother. Eesh. You must be the Ganglion leader. The one Lao spoke of. Luxar, was it? That's him? Do not presume to address me. You defile my name by even speaking it. Only the Great One may call me that. Great One? I am here to purge the universe of your disease, once and for all. What are you so afraid of? Destroying the Earth wasn't enough. You had to chase down the survivors and destroy them, too. What's their threat? You'd even risk flying that crippled mech. That's right, isn't it? It's not complete. It's still missing something vital. Interesting. Then you're not entirely ignorant, are you? Perhaps your human birthright allows you to sense it, even in that puppet shell. Birthright? You. You're no ordinary puppet. You must be the one responsible for the Trion Barrier, the scales, this whole blasted mess! <laughs> Then perhaps I am mistaken after all. Perhaps humanity is the failsafe of a legend. But you will not find the Ganglion content to submit and resign ourselves to that fate. No. Instead, I will purify this world and prepare it for the advent of the Great One. was indeed fearful of humanity, of your threat. At the dawn of the cosmos, the Samarians arrived from another planet. We then are forbidden from turning against them. If we ever tried, we would be destroyed. I thought that it was just a myth. 
And yet here you are. The descendants of Samar! You! You miserable human! Sure looks that way. <laughs> Lieutenant, we did it! First dance of victory, then Lenly's victory feast! <laughs> sure, Tatsu. I'm game. Let us dance up a storm in any port! Hey, come on! Lighten up! We just finally beat the Ganglion. Tatsu even wants to be part of the victory feast. Isn't that right, Tatsu? Wait! When Lily say part of the feast... Yeah. I mean, we'll all eat you. In celebration. No! No, 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 no! Tatsu want nothing to do with Lily's feast! Nothing at all! Oh, okay. We'll just eat without you then. B -b -b wait no! Lily know what Tatsu means! <laughs> I'm sure you two will work it out somehow. Anyway, getting back to the conversation from earlier... So, that big machine hanging above us? I've never seen one anywhere near that size, but it looks like a 7th generation quantum mainframe. That's exactly right. It's by far the most technologically advanced computer humanity has ever created, in terms of both speed and capacity. It's also the foundation for the Earth Life Colonization Project. It's where all your consciousnesses have been recorded. What? Elma... You mean... 
Yes, that's what I mean. And not just everyone in New L.A. The essence of all 20 million humans we brought with us from Earth are there. Including all their memories, their genetic makeup, anything and everything. It's all been digitized and stored away in the core. Right up there. Then... What about our bodies? You mean the originals all this data was sampled from? They were destroyed, along with the Earth. <gasps> then... wait... you mean we're already dead? You could see it that way. Or you could see it differently. The bodies you were born with, and all the chemicals and organs that created and stored your thoughts, are gone. But yourself has lived on as data from the moment the project scanned your minds. It's all been stored here as part of the long-term plan until it could be moved back into a real body. What real bodies? I'll show you. Capsules represent a sample of all the genetic material that could be found on Earth. Exodus was always about more than just fleeing the planet. Ships like the White Whale were designed as arcs to carry the building blocks of all life on Earth to the next world. Ark? You mean, as in, like, Noah's Ark? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. A last-ditch effort to save all living things that they might someday flourish again. This entire chamber is filled with protoplasmic fluid. You see how it works. It can regenerate life from the genetic data stored above. Including humans? All of us? Once your bodies are cultivated, your present memory can be transferred back in. Everything you've felt or done in your MIM will be carried over seamlessly without any loss in continuity. You mean we'll have our bodies back? It sounds too good to be true. It is too good to be true. Our bodies were real. We were born in them. And now you just snap your fingers and bam, we get new ones? Is that even right? Doesn't feel like it. Are we even humans anymore? Transferring our memories? Playing musical chairs with our bodies? Where do you draw the line? How do I know I'll be the same person I was wherever I end up? To some extent, you won't be. But then, you never were. On a cellular level, we all wake up as slightly different people every day. It's only because of the continuity of consciousness that we even perceive